just like nature. It's what we're all about. Wagons ho! <laughs> Have a look at that! Oh. That's when they think it's safe to come out. Not an animal! Bang! <laughs> I guess in the end that's probably why we all go fishing. Folks, I've had some tremendous helpers on this program over the time I've been on it. But every now and again, I like to get out on my own with a guide and just take in some beautiful parts of Australia and the world. Mel Miles is mine host today. Now, he is the skipper of Gambler, which is the mothership of Darwin Blue Water Business. And this is a special part of the world, Malcolm. It is. It's the Jesse River. We're up to one of the tributaries of the Jesse River and we're out for a bit of an afternoon fish. Hopefully going to knock over a barra, a couple of salmon. What else? Well, mangrove jacks and finger mark perhaps. But around the corner, you know I'm pretty keen to get there later on, Cole Roberts wrote an article many years ago about the Jesse River rock bar. I've been there twice and I have been triumphant. Can it, we at least have a couple of trolls there? Oh, let's have a couple of drags across there. There should be a big bar or two waiting for you. Possibly a Dewey, you never know your luck. Those people in Australia would remember Mike and Mel, the Leyland brothers. They were legends of this type of television. But today, Mike and Mel take a backward step. It's Rex and Mel. We are the Jesse River brothers. There, the first cast, the first troll. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Said there'll be a snag there. I got the snag, but I also got the fish. Wow. How about that? How about that? It's a barramundi. <laughs> the mangrove jack has turned into a barramundi. <laughs> it's not a bad oh size for you, Rex. Look at that. My goodness me, what a start. What a start to my return at the Jesse River. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Rexy. How are we traveling, Mel? You reckon we're traveling all right? Well, that kind of went to script, I think, there, Rex. <laughs> I just want to get that hook away, if you don't mind, because I might just do that and do that. That's, it. That's the way. There he is. Beautiful saltwater lean barramundi. Beautiful saltwater lean barramundi. Look at him. And we worry about the size of the lure. My goodness me. And those beautiful eyes. Look at those lovely eyes. They are designed for hunting predators at night. Eyes on top of the head. You are magnificent. There's a bit of zinc cream for you, mate. Are you feeling hungry, Rex? Pardon? You hungry tonight? Or? Oh, you want to eat him? Well, you're going to have to eat something else, mate, because he deserves to go, and away he goes. Let me tell you, folks, you won't know what I'm talking about, 
but I had the worst morning this morning. If it was raining bikini-clad women, I'd be washed down the gutter with a bearded big truck driver. I couldn't take a trick. The first troll, it's got to be a good show, this, folks. I can't wait to get to the rock bar. But I promised Mel another barra. Don't tell him. changing lures and just see if I can talk him into getting it. Talk him into coming aboard. Okay. Touch? Yep. Yes. Blue salmon. Blue salmon. Well oh, done. Feisty little blue salmon. <laughs> well done. Okay, you won't be putting this one back because you like actually blue salmon sashimi, don't you? Yeah, it's not too bad. Isn't it? Very tasty. Very good. You actually saw him before he took the lure, didn't you? Mm. <laughs> Just a little fella, but for their size. Yeah, aren't they great? They put up a fair performance. Their cousins, the old thread fin, are not too bad either. The blue, yeah, blue salmon. We actually said we'd catch a blue salmon. I tell you what, where have you been hiding all these years? <laughs> uh, every now and then the fish do what they're supposed to. Do they? Yeah, I wish they didn't when we pointed the camera at them half the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. Sashimi. Sashimi. Oh, <laughs> tonight. You went for the tree fish, I went for whatever jumped over there, mate. I tell you what, you've got to be quick. Oh, uh, you've got to be quick, mate. Look at it. Oh, Jackie Jackie. <laughs> little Jackie Jackie, how about that? He's a tiny little fella, isn't he? Yes, yeah, I think we better let him go. What he can think? go back, there might be another one over there. Yeah. It's all about quickness, mate, isn't it? It's all That's about right. quickness, yeah, get in there. Bang. Get your little rattler down there. Yep, got him. Got him? Yep. Well done. <laughs> yeah, there should be three or four of them. Is that a brim? Species. Species, species, species. They're getting smaller though. I think it's great that they actually chomp the lures, you know what I mean? Mm. Try one in there. Bang. Grabbed it and went to the side, didn't you see that? Yeah. Not a bad size, that one. It was a nice size fish. You can have another go, hey? Been there. The bait in there. Nice cast, Rex. Thank you. Now that deserves a fish, Rexy. Make it happen, Rex. Make well, it happen. I don't think it is because he should have taken the first couple of cranks. Mate, the big fireball in the sky is getting down a bit. Do you want to go outside and try a few gutters? What do you think? Why not? We've got okay, to go mate. to the rock bar again. And the rock bar? My goodness me. I forgot about the rock bar. <laughs> I came here. Rock bar hunt. It doesn't sort of roll off the tongue at all, does it? Mm. They might call it Cole's Rock Bar. Cole Roberts in Perth. I know you watch the show and all the best to you. Fish. My goodness me. Did not he hammer that? He sure did. Did not he hammer that? 
my goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. That Where fish. Where are you, Rex? He's gone straight down again looking for that bar, I reckon. We might be able to sort of yeah, I'll head out. get him out of it, do you think? That's what we're trying to do. Oh, my goodness me, Mel. I've been here three times and this is my fourth visit. Twice filming, once as a paying customer with Gary Barbie and the first time, Matthew Wanamere from the Melville Land Council who arranged for some of the native people to take me out and show them some traditional fishing methods for stingrays and crocodiles. Big Barra speared them. You might remember the show, it was fantastic. But every time I come back, I think, that is why I do what I do. And the big thing is, is that you live in eternal hope that one day you might just get that big fish. And like I've said so many times before, this is the time when you lose the fish because he's taking line. Now, if I engage further braking through the clutch, through the drag, I'm gonna to put too much pressure on the fish. When he's out with monofilament fishing line, there's usually some stretch. But with this new super line, there's no stretch. You have a better feel for the fish. And at the moment, folks, we're in full angling mode. Gee, I love this. I love it every now and again when a plan comes together. He might be good enough to beat me. He might throw the hook yet. They are barbless, but they feel really, really well connected to this fish. And for one of the very, very first times in my life, I can't tell you what it is. It's coming up there, Rex. It's coming up. It Better is color. a big silver fish, so it is a big silver fish. And this is where we've got to really take care because if he takes off, it is a big silver fish. Oh, it is a big silver fish. What are you? Please just give me a look at you. I'm not going to overdo it. It is a big, big jewfish. A big jewfish. <laughs> a big jewfish. <laughs> oh, a big black jewfish of the Northern Territory. <laughs> hey folks, I can do this <laughs> without a cleansing ale, a little red, all those funny cigarettes or you people smoke. I get off on this. Let's net the fish and have a go. Let's show him, eh? I'll just grab him, right? Will you? Yeah. All right then, no. Just want to grab him. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> You've done that before, Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> Lure caught Jewfish. Oh, that's just fantastic. Lure caught Jewfish. And, and, and why it's so important to me, folks, is the fact that. Look at him going dark now. He's just fantastic. It, it, it is so important to me because he's a lure cord fish. <laughs> it's a lure cord fish. I might just get that top lot out just like that. And we'll get the bottom out first, don't we? All right, we'll get that one out and we'll get that one away from you, mate. And then it's all to be done. All to be done is to get that center one out like that. That'll, that should just almost drop out like that and how about that well a little bit of a peck mate <laughs> oh look at that Beautiful. fella you deserve your life and away you go mate just absolutely sensational you give him a bit of a swim now and that is great <laughs> oh my goodness me and away he goes Yes, yep, good one. Well done. I'll take over the boat. I'm under you. Just keep bringing it in. Or over you. You're right, you're clear. No worries at all. Yep. 
Oh, well, just see how my uh, boat driving is. <laughs> I think. Oh, oh, just see that thing come in. <laughs> you think I better just take this out of gear and perhaps have another cast? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> when I was retrieving my lure, it was as if something yeah. just went whoosh. Here it comes. Here's a barramundi. Barramundi, what an absolute beauty. What an absolute rip snorter. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a nice one. Now that is a serious fish, isn't it? <laughs> Congratulations. No worries, Rick. Malcolm Miles. Miles and miles of barramundi. Wow. Now that is a good fish. It is a good fish. That is a good fish. It's getting an absolute beauty. It's laying down there. Absolute beauty. Now, need some pliers. Yes. Jesse River Rock Bar Barra. Yeah. Beautiful saltwater fish. Gee. Well, could it get any better? I didn't think after I caught that dewy that it actually could get any better. But as Malcolm said, it's been a mixed bag. It's been a wonderful bag. Absolutely wonderful bag. Have a look at that, mate. Just absolutely perfect example of why we come to the top end. How long's he, mate? You reckon 80? 80 to 85 centimetres. So is he five or six kilo? Five we'll six. give him that anyhow, folks. So there you are, folks, as the sun goes down on another beautiful day in the top end of Australia. We're heading back to our mother ship, Gambler. We've got sashimi. And as well as that, we've got some uncooked fish. But I can tell you now, <laughs> folks, if you want to get onto the best action in the best pristine wilderness, I tell you what, Darwin Blue Water aboard the Gambler is great value. How about that? See you later, mate. Off you go. And away he goes. Bang, and he even wet us on the way back. <laughs>